Italian physician and philosopher, Santorio Santorio is reputed the father of experimental physiology. His studies on metabolism, temperature, pulse and diagnosis would have constituted one of the most influential landmarks throughout the European medicine until the end of the 18th century. Santorio was born the 29th of March 1561 in Capodistria, today Köper in Slovenia, a city then under the domination of the Republic of Venice. He studied medicine, mathematics and philosophy in Padua, where he would have also been appointed professor of theoretical medicine from 1611 to 1624. From 1582 to 1599, Santorio travelled extensively in Poland and Croatia, where he began his experiments on the so-called insensible perspiration of the body, an insensible loss of water steam from the pores of the skin, as well as from the respiratory tracts, than to maintain the dynamic of metabolism within constant parameters. Although in the previous centuries many attempts had been done to properly evaluate biological phenomena, before Santorio the medical quantification was believed impossible. Despite his bias and in order to study the insensible perspiration, Santorio invented and built many instruments, among which was a stilia chair meant to wait himself and his patients. He kept experimenting for more than 30 years and eventually published the results in 1614 in the work Ars de Statica Medicina, Medical Statics, which is the first work of Western medicine to apply quantification and experimental procedure. Unlike his friend Galileo Galilei, Santorio's interest for quantification covered a variety of aspects, from medicine to physics. By using a principle already known to Heron of Alexandria, Santorio invented the first thermometer and the first pulsimeter, or pulsilogium, as well as many types of anhydrometers and anemometers that he described in the work Commentaria in Primam Fem. Primi Libri Canoni Savicenne, published in Venice in 1625. Santorio died in Venice the 22nd February 1636, at the age of 74. After his death, his legacy would have been carried on by many physicians and scientists of the 17th and 19th century. Among them, there would have been also Antoine Laurent Lavoisier, the father of chemistry, who, acknowledging and uncovering Santorio's status, would have done a further step toward a comprehension of metabolic processes.